Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Rome, Italy and I'm walking to Santa Croce de Jerusalem. So, Santa Croce, Jerusalem? Um, at least that's the way it says it. Um, and it's, it's off the beaten path, so it's, it's been a walk, but, uh, but there's an interesting thing about this church. Um, that it, 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 it has artifacts. Um, like, all right, I'm gonna say these, you know, like the thorn that went in Jesus' head to actually have the original one. What else did they have? They had uh, a few others, and they don't let filming happen, but uh, I'm gonna see what I can do, if it's even open, I, you know. I've been here a few times and, oh, and, uh, and it's closed or what have you. But it's right in front of me. Who, uh, and it's probably a mile and a half away from the train tracks. Um, and I don't know, people say that it's not real or that it's not genuine or genuine, genuine. But that's it right there. And the doors look open. And when you get into the certain areas, they don't let videos happen. So let's see if we can get across the street without getting killed. Because this isn't the crosswalk. And I'd love a Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, and you can see the wall, which is kind of cool. Let this guy pass, and there's the church. Santa Croce de Jerusalem. And it's a big boy. And it's certainly a hot summery day. Okay. I'm probably going to stop talking and I might tend to hide the camera a bit. But, uh, let's see what we get here. Two relics. It's really dark. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. The ceiling is pretty amazing too. I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's just go right to the relics, shall we? And it says really cool relics. And it is hotter than sin. Scale from 
1 to 100. It is 120 heat in here. Can you read that? You know, they don't do very good. The relics of passion of the Lord were kept and revered more than a millennium and semi-underground, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get out so you can see the whole thing, but pause it and you can zoom in. I'm moving on. So here's what's in this relic room. So there's this one, which is the... Um, in order to complete the cathesis... Did you get all that? Pause if you need to. And that's what that one looks like. And then there's this one. And are these the thorns? Yes. Two thorns that were believed to be the crown of Jesus. The tradition doesn't attribute to St. It's a 1204. And that's what that one looks like. And you can see the two thorns that were in Jesus' heads head. He didn't have two heads. And this is the nail that was in his wrist, right? The nail actually are historians and also believe in. Let me look closer for you. And that's what that looks like. It's the nail that was in Jesus's, I think his arm or something. And then this is the tile. This concerns uh, you pause if you need to and you can zoom in. Let me see if I can block out this. stopping me from filming, so I guess that's okay, I guess. So, there's the cross. And then here is the, is that the finger? No, that's the nail. So that's the nail that was in Jesus on the cross. And that's the tile that was underneath that labeled his cross. And then those are the thorns, right? No, those are the thorns. this one <laughs> I don't remember but you can see it okay and that's Jesus on the cross down there okay of Turin. And you can see Jesus' face in this one. The Holy Shroud.
so you can see Jesus' face right here. That's his face and that's the back of his head. And his arms crossing. Okay. I've said this a hundred times. Why do we always have to kill him? Why can't he just be a peaceful and happy? So this is the cross, and this was... What was in it? I don't know. Anyway, okay. Santa Croce, Jerusalem. And, uh... Church looks <laughs> like any other church, <laughs> except darker. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you see me? Oh my gosh, I am just uh, a sloppy wet mess. Thanks for coming with me into the church. Ah, it's just running off my nose. <laughs> yeah, the church. Uh, bye everybody. <laughs>